Now I'm going to go ahead and paint my flowers and my vase. And all I want to do is paint my, my flower with white. Dip up a little blue. Make sure I get all the blue off of here. Dip up some white. I'm just going to go around in circles like this. Go to the next one. Going around in circles. 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 Some of the blue is on my palette knife, that's okay. Kind of running out of paint, so I'm probably going to get some more white paint. But I like that nice texture just sitting up, so you're going to get a nice thick glob of paint to make some cool textures for your flowers. Leaving just a little opening in the middle. So I'm gonna paint the inside of the middle of the flower. And it's kind of like a decorative painting. Not going for realism. It's kind of hard to go for realism if you're painting with a palette knife too, so <laughs> can be done, but it's a lot of work. There we go. Now I'm going to go inside my, uh, while I'm working on my vase and my flowers, this, the background is drying because we're going to do something else to the background. So now I'm going to add inside my, some green inside my flowers. So get some yellow and green. This green is kind of strong. I'm using a permanent green light, so it's a little strong, so I'm going to add some cadmium yellow to it. And I'm just going to get it a little bit. This green is still kind of strong. Add a tad bit of white to it. I mean red, excuse me. That may be a too much red. Some more yellow. There we go. It's a nice neutral green. Some more green kind of close to nature. So I like that green. That's a lot better. Go around, put it in my circles. Inside. circle with this green. It's okay if you mix in with the white. It has a unique look to it. So continue just outlining the edge of my flowers. Nice greenery. Now I'm going to add my leaves. Just using the tip of my palette knife. Also get inside, put a little greenery in here in between the empty spaces. Should be it. 
I feel like I need one more circle right there, so I'm gonna put one more over there. Just kind of balance it out a little bit. Few highlights. A little white. Make sure I define my base pretty good. And that should be it. My background is kind of dry. Let me get this part right here because it's kind of still kind of wet. So all this part is just not really dry. I'm trying to get some of it up. So I put a little bit too much down. That's okay though. Let it dry for a few minutes and then we're going to go in and paint the uh, background. 